Hiya guys, it's Spectre here, and welcome to some Outlast. I love this series. It's the series that initially got me like really gripped on horror games, other than Amnesia the Dark Descent. Um, the first content I did back on the channel in 2017 was Outlast Whistleblower, the DLC. I played the original game, obviously, when it came out, um, but I did it in normal. This time I'm going to play it in Nightmare. So I'm going to play it in the like second hardest difficulty, because this one is if you die, you start back at the beginning. I don't want to do that. That'd just be annoying. Um, just before we get fully into the video as well, um, there's this if you're new to the channel. Your subscribe button, if you're on like a laptop or desktop, should be over on the right hand side. If you're on a video, should be right below. I'm well over the public watch hours required from YouTube. I just need to get to a thousand subs. So if you guys are new around here and you're enjoying the content, please hit the sub button, help me get on the YouTube partner program. With that said, let's get into Outlast, because this I'm looking fucking forward to. Alice continues, tips, balance, go, graphics, sexual content, strong language, please enjoy. Oh, lovely. You're Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Hmm. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalists would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are run, hide, or die. Yes, in equal fucking measure. I know there are lots of, um, like, information things in the game that unlock part of the war. I will bring them up. I won't read them all out for you guys, but I'll leave it on the screen long enough so you can always pause it and read it yourself if you desire. And once it's out of um, early access, I will be doing Outlast Trials as well. I mean, you don't like the kind of place that you want to go to do it. It's like, you know, all the way out in the creepy ass middle of goddamn woods. So this is the guy, this is um, Waylon Park, whatever he's called, what his name is. Oh, in Nightmare, there's not going to be many batteries, is there? Ugh. I'll tell you something, any fucking camera in the world that burnt through batteries as fast as this one did, you'd want to take the thing back. These days, a camera would be a good idea, but wouldn't you just have one of those cameras that's got these, um, a set of glasses that's got a camera right in the middle, on your face? That one's that. That's run. Oops. Shit, I just used a battery. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's not too good to start. Okay. Okay. 
Don't call that first time round. I'm not being funny as well, you walk through the gates, there's no guard at the gate, and you've got a bunch of military-esque vehicles. I mean, it, it doesn't paint the kind of picture that you want to go investigating. Investigative journalists are usually, um, meant to have a good degree of brain power. Miles must be really hard up trying to get a Pulitzer. because I don't remember what my buttons were, that's why I just wasted the battery. Crouch 1, run is 2, use is 3. The other batteries is 5. Okay. Okay. Horrifying memories. Oh, bugger. I ain't into the parkour stuff. It's not my jam. Come on, you pussy jump. What the fuck? Did that always do that? That scared the shit out of me. TV just fucking screamed at me. Okay. Now, I know there's a war rider, but I don't recall TV screaming at you. It's new. Goddamn fucking branch. Right, I've got a spare battery. Oh, I can only carry two anyway. God. Two? That must be because it's in that bit difficulty. So I don't recall it being two before. Project War Rider. Yeah, Billy Hope. Dr. Traeger. Yes. You don't like Traeger. He's mean. Oh, Uncle. Al. Oh, fucking Christ, I forgot about that bastard thing. Oh, the heart. Where the hell was he hanging from? 
Oh, that got my fucking heart. Skipped a few beats there. This has got to be in Gluskin. Pull him off all the goddamn heads, the fucking psycho. collecting. Marvellous. That guy is really freaking out. Chris Walker? Probably the next most terrifying person after the fucking war rider. Sticking out of the toilet, I don't want to know who shit that one out. That would have been painful. Don't know why I'd try and follow that guy personally, but you know. Little fish. Oh, bollocks! <laughs> Did he always throw us through there? That, uh, that oh, I might have got it confused. I thought it was a different bookshelf. Something that it threw us through. And who are you then? It's um, the priest guy. I forgot his fucking name. I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. He God sounds like the goddamn the the little God. midget guy out of um, Outlast 2. The one that's like looking at scripture rather than it being a book, it's your camera. I wonder if he's... Was that guy like locked in the... Uh, morphogenic engine? Jesus Christ. These guys get all fucked up. Battery. That one's still got his head attached. He shouldn't go around pulling that one off yet. It'd be really funny if fucking one of the computers pops up fucking error 404. Should have got out of here when you had the chance, though.
What the fuck? Uh, the wheelchair guy. I hate the fucking guy. Oh! The hands to carry the toilet. You had to zoom in on that to get it to thing. By a deformed giant. <laughs> Priest is writing them for my benefit. So he knew back then. He knew the priest was writing them. Because you see him writing them in, uh, in the whistleblower DLC. Father, whatever the fuck his name is. Himself in there. Why should we have to pay for this? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're some people. We didn't choose this. Mm, Walker was a police officer. Can you imagine that fucking giant fucking psycho being a fucking police officer? Bet nobody fucked around on his beat. Jesus Christ. He's like, yeah, you fuck around, you just rips your fucking head off. That's not like a good way to die. Project War Rider Prof Profitability Report. There's profitability in, in making a, a killer fucking nano ghost thing. And I suppose the US military had um, probably put it to some use if they could control it. But the problem is you're making it out of a psychopath. Probably not the best candidate. Seems to have some blood boyhood experience with the Chuatara lizards. Until Trump sitting while serving in Afghanistan, so he was also a soldier. So he was a soldier and then became a police officer. Mr. Um, little chin man. Fucking guy looks weird as shit. With a screaming TV. Yeah, don't worry, the TV yelled at me earlier. Now this guy looks normal. That guy's just hiding, he looks all fucked up. And they're just waiting for Walker to find him and fucking rearrange the faces.
But what I'll probably try and do as well is, since it's going to carry two batteries, I'll try and use... I'll try and use my batteries until I find a new one. And then I'll um, swap it out as soon as I get a new one. So I've always got two in inventory, possibly. Might be an idea. Because I know once you've left certain areas, you can't always get back. But I know in some cases you can. Oh my god, now I've got to deal with this fucking lunatic. Whew. Yeah. Get him out! Please! Oh! Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. I get to watch the wall rider in action. Oh god, does that computer say Hellman? It's like Hellman Ghost. I really do like that priest. Oh god. That does me that I'm now, by the way. Oh my god. Is he sniffing? Big fucking guy, BFG, not big fucking gun. Ex military police. Oh, he's an MP, was he? Scene. Testing things I didn't do the first time around because I was too fucking terrified. Although the jump scare still still come out of the field. And the chasers um get you. I did play air isolation in that mode and that was um terrifying as well. Ultra program, that's from CIA, yeah, I remember about that. They were using that like mind control and shit, weren't they? It's continued in building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve. Preserve? It's not like it's a fucking animal preserve or a dinosaur preserve or something. Oh, shit. Who's there? 
It's no one. It's your fucking imagination, you crazy bastard. Some shit on my. Please don't be in here. It's not. Fuck out, you could have shot it quietly. Look how fast that fucking battery's going down, oh my god! Can't move. Ooh. Why am I stuck? Ah! You're ugly. Ugh. I can't do shit. You're stuck in a fucking door. No, what the fuck? No, close the door, you idiot. No bullshitting way. I'm gonna bulk the walkers, got my guy gets for doors in like no time. Oh fucking hell.
the fuck? Should be on the wrong side of the door? What is it with these doors? It looks so funky. Why are they always like God squatting lunatics? Except the gospel. Yeah. Nothing ever good comes of that. Father Martin. So to be fair with you, the, the guy in question is not as stupid as I thought. I mean, um, he was actually going to try and leave the asylum. It was the... Uh, it was the doctor that um, stopped him from being able to leave and then obviously put him in the middle of the asylum so he couldn't get out. Otherwise, they'd have been out of there. But I'm not being funny, I don't think I would have gone in in the first place. After going past a room of headless corpses, I'd have been going back the fucking way that I came and out that goddamn window. I'd have been like, yeah, fuck that. You've got enough recording there for someone to, like, put a story on and send an armed police cadre to the asylum. Right, I'm going to leave part one here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you're new around here, please subscribe. Help me get on that YouTube partner program. And I'll catch you all in part two. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.